Hello and welcome to Digital Woodcarver. My name is Laney Shaughnessy and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up and attach your fourth axis accessory to your DWC 2443 axis standard package. Now if you ordered the four axis standard package you should have received not only the stand and the unit but you would also received your fourth axis attachment and the mounting brackets. If you ordered the fourth axis attachment at a later date and you've just received it and you're installing it and you're watching this video for a how-to, uh, then you should have your fourth axis attachment along with the mounting brackets to mount to your existing 2443 axis standard package stand. Now on each end of the stand, what we need to do is because the fourth axis mounts on the left side of the 2440, we need to make sure that we remove the bolt that's on the inside of the right leg and the two bolts that are on the end of the left leg. We're going to be replacing those three bolts that we remove with the bolts that come with your fourth axis accessory and brackets. Now when you receive your brackets there are two different styles. We have one bracket here that has a shorter lip on the top where the fourth axis sits and we have a second bracket that has a wider lip. Now the wider lip bracket fits on the other end of the table and the shorter lip bracket fits on the front of the table. Now on each one of the brackets there is a balancer here that we're going to be installing a bolt so that we could level the bed of the fourth axis with our tabletop and in your hardware pack you should have your 5, 16, 18 bolts and you want to put two 5, 16, 18 nuts on there and once you have those you want to go ahead and just screw them in. We'll adjust them to their proper height and everything once we get the brackets mounted. So we want to go ahead and get those bolts into place. Okay, once we have those bolts into place, then we can go ahead and mount the brackets. With the brackets, these bolts are meant to sit on the top of the frame, and that's what raises and lowers that fourth axis bed when we adjust it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hold the bracket on the end of the unit there and kind of just balance it with our hand there and we'll go ahead and install the bolts. And you want to make sure on your 5, 16, 18 bolts that you have a washer on before you put it into the hole. And then on the back side, we want to put another washer before we put on the nut. Okay, just go ahead and make sure that they're only hand tight right now. Once we get the fourth axis attached and leveled to the bed, then we'll secure all three of the bracket bolts down. So again, we'll go ahead and get the bolts on. Okay, once we have the three bolts in and the bracket secured, we can go ahead and repeat the steps on the other side with the longer bracket. And remember, the shorter lip bracket goes on the front of the machine. You can identify the front with the digital wood carver decal here. And then the longer lip bracket goes on to the back of the machine. So we'll go and put that on now. Okay, once we have the brackets in place, and we'll go ahead and set the fourth axis onto uh, the brackets and get it secured down with four 5, 16, 18 bolts. Okay, once we have the fourth axis accessory mounted on the brackets, we want to go ahead and while we have it set up here, let's go ahead and secure it down. Now when we put the bolts on, again, we're just going to uh, get them threaded onto the bolts. We're not going to tighten them down yet because we need to square up the fourth axis with our gantry to make sure that it's running parallel with the table. Okay. 
All right, once I have all four of the bolts in on the fourth axis and it is mounted to the brackets, I don't want to tighten them down yet. I want to make sure that that fourth axis is running parallel to the 2440 bed. So what I want to do is I want to measure from the outside of the gantry arm. We're going to slide the gantry back to one end of the table. And I want to measure from the outside of the gantry arm to the inside of this center groove where the tail stock slides. Uh, that inside groove, I want to measure that distance and then we're going to slide the gantry forward and we're going to do the same thing at the other end to make sure that that fourth axis is running parallel to the table. Now the measurements may vary from what I'm reading out in this video, uh, but at this end here, from the outside of the gantry to the inside of the groove, I am at four and one eighth inches. So what I want to do is I'm going to secure one of the bolts. I still need to be able to pivot if I have to make any adjustments at that end, but I'm going to secure one of the bolts just so that measurement stays where it's at. And so we're going to take the gantry and we're going to slide it forward. To the other end of the table and we're going to measure that distance again. So what I'm looking for is from the outside of the gantry to the inside of this center groove, I'm looking for four and an eighth inches. Okay, once I have that distance, now we can secure all four of the screws that are mounting the fourth axis accessory to the brackets. And then we'll come back and do the one on this end here. Okay, once the fourth axis is fully secured to the mounting brackets, now we need to make sure that the bed of the fourth axis is level with the bed of your 2440. Now, if you do have a waste board on your 2440, uh, let's say for instance that you have a three quarter inch waste board on your table, you are going to have to raise the fourth axis up uh, that additional three quarters. So you are going to have to shim the fourth axis up underneath each of the brackets, uh, underneath the fourth axis on top of the brackets. You're going to need to account for that waste board height. If you don't have a waste board on your table, then we're just going to level out the bed straight to the table. Okay? Uh, so you've got to account for your waste board if you do have a waste board on your table or you plan on putting a waste board on your table, then you would get your waste board laid out and milled and then you would adjust the fourth axis accordingly so the bed of the fourth axis is flush with the top of that waste board okay all right so what we want to do now is we want to get a known straight edge uh, a nice known straight edge and we're going to start at one end of the table and we're going to raise the fourth axis up using our adjustment bolts uh, that are on each end of the brackets that we put in earlier. Uh, we're going to raise that up uh, until we make contact with our straight edge here so we know that we're running true and flush and we'll be all set.
Okay, so once we've raised the end of the table, we have two locking nuts on that bolt uh, on the bracket. We want to go ahead and bring those down and we want to secure and lock them into place. All right, now we're going to slide the gantry back. And we'll bring our straight edge to the front of the table. And we'll repeat those steps. Okay, once we have completed squaring up the fourth axis and leveling it to our bed or our wasteboard, if we have a wasteboard, remember you're going to have to elevate the fourth axis by that thickness of your wasteboard. Uh, you can use some of your wasteboard material or something to uh, shim it up. And once we have everything secured down, now we can go ahead and tighten down our three mounting bracket bolts. Uh, to get those fully secured. And we're going to want to repeat that over on the other end of the table. Okay, once all of the mounting bracket bolts are tightened and secured, that completes the installation of your fourth axis attachment. Now what we need to do is to take the motor cable, uh, we're gonna cut the zip ties and we're gonna route it through the stand and plug it into the front of the control box into the A axis port. Once we have it connected to the control box, then that will complete the installation of the fourth axis. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or you need any assistance uh, through the process of this installation, you can always contact us at 833-392-2621, extension number two, and we'll be happy to assist you in any way we can. Well, my name is Lanny Shaughnessy. Once again, thank you for choosing Digital Woodcarver. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you soon.